Elementary. We're so excited to have you here. Be sure to say hi to the Ray. Woohoo! All right, what do we say, Ray? It's, it's a, a great day to be a Ray. We are so excited for you to visit our campus. We can't wait to see it. Okay. Anna. Oh my gosh. What? Anna, what? Need, need you back. Oh, sorry. I'm talking to this kid. I'm telling him to write his letters. Oh, sh <laughs> Okay, um, all right, so I wanted to bring you down to kindergarten today to meet one of our teachers, Ms. Reinhardt. Um, this year, her and another partner teacher have really embraced how do we bring in student choice and student ownership into our learning. So what we did was at first, we got them all together in a group and we decided um, what dinosaurs that we wanted to look at. So we looked at our um, lib guides on the library page and we looked at all the dinosaurs and then they got to decide as groups which ones they wanted to do and then as as they were working on it they had paper and they went through the libguides and they wrote down what they found was interesting about the dinosaurs they led the conversations all we did was okay here's your dinosaur and what do you want to know about your dinosaur and they took it from there why did y'all pick a long neck dinosaur because um i'm a herbivore so i eat plants and that's why I picked a plant eater. What is one thing you learned about a stegosaurus during this project? I learned about the bony plate. Yes, the bony plate. So what is your project? What, what is their habitat? Is, is that a volcano? Are no, those trees? What are those? Trees. Did you create this? Wow. I, you know what I love the most about him? What? His eye. His eye is very calm and very peaceful. Good job. Right. Yeah, I would say this is Miss Belzell. She was also a part of this project. And, you know, talk about really seeing the five C's come to life, that collaboration, that communication, and just that opportunity to take their learning to um, their own ownership was really phenomenal. All right, Miss Anna, we, and this is, I have Reese with me from kindergarten, and we want to share with you our kinder area. So this is another area that our kiddos really had the opportunity to take their learning and showcase their learning through creativity and choice. Hey, Reese, how are you? Good. Can you tell me about this wall, the kinder area? We're learning about the outside, and we learned about soil and bugs. We made our own flowers, and each of us, every class made a flower, and we glued it up. So what happens now? Is this done, or are you going to make more flowers? Um, we're going to make stuff in the sky. I love that it's oh. student-led. I remember when I was in school, there would be a worksheet, and this is what you had to do. You had to do this in order. This is all, this is what they feel, this is what they learn, this is what it looks like to them. And, you know, I think our teachers did a good job, too, of saying, what materials do you want to use to represent whatever. Right? Yes. Same thing with their projects. It's what material do you want to use to represent your dinosaur or yeah. your habitat or anything, you know? And so now the next step is they're finalizing the year with persuasion and teaching. And so how are we going to persuade people to like our certain dinosaurs? I so it's love just, it. It's been that learning yes. over the year coming together. Yeah. All right, ladies. So our next step is going to be into a third grade classroom, Mrs. Barza's room, where our kiddos are just starting into a breakout session. So a breakout is where our kiddos have to do a set of challenges to get a code think of like an escape room mm -hmm. um, and apply their learning that they've done over the course of a nine weeks or the, over the course of a unit to um, solve the problem. Today in their breakout rooms they are working together as a team to um, solve some different topics in math. They're working on money, they're working on adding and subtracting. Mostly what we were talking about today though was perseverance, right? So they were working together in a, in, in a team, in a group, um, and really trying to see if they can push through that struggle and kind of fail forward through through that breakout room. Guys, find these pieces. Okay, let's find the, uh, You're hoping let's to see a lot of good conversation happening, right? Maybe some disagreements, but also working through that. Um, hopefully that's what you're able to see today. Yay! Yes. <laughs> All right. did it. So now you can... Hey, Miss St. John! Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> It's like you just never come home. Yes. It's like come home. Yes. All right, Miss St. John. Oh, okay. We are so excited to be in your room today. Can you kind of share with us a little bit about what your kiddos are doing today in art? Sure. We're working on our 3D art project. Our fourth graders are creating clay bobbleheads. So today's the first day they're seeing their two pieces come together as one. And I'm cutting the wire for them to connect them together and try and figure out a plan to make that balance. Mm -hmm. So it's a real challenge. You showed up right in the nick of time. So Miss St. John, can you kind of share with us a little bit, what kind of opportunities do kids have to really own this piece of work that they did? Oh, well, it is all them. So the assignment was for them to make a bobble head. And so normally you would say, oh, everybody's gonna make a cat. 
but I just kind of told them how it needed to work, and they came up with the what, the workings of it. You can come over here and see somebody has a guy on the ground and he's holding a pizza. I play soccer every week with my team. It's me sitting on the grass. Do you see how it's built now? You may have just seen a blue shape, but now you can see what he's expressing. So the year I was here, we did Reagan Ray's Peace Rocks. And each kid in the school painted a rock for peace. And then we did a giant peace symbol out of the kids on the field and had a drone photo taken. It's like the best day ever.